Hey, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy, and today we're going to be discussing this topic that always gets brought up, and it's also confusing to even people that know what they're talking about, which is what is total plays versus lifetime plays? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how to find this in the menu code and discuss it a little bit further. And now that we got our coin door open, what the next step is, is we are going to go into the menu uh, to find lifetime play. So the step is hit the black button, service menu, hit the black button again. It comes in there and you can see audit is the second one. Go to that, go to SPI. And so this is the stuff you need to know. So when you're buying and selling games or trading, the things that you wanna know are how many games have been played on the machine. So again, total balls played versus lifetime. What is the difference? So right here, standard audit number one, total balls played says 1610. That's one ball at 1610 plays. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to audit number 16. That's the audit that you wanna see. There we go. So what this tells us uh, is lifetime means how many games have been on this machine completely or 521 games. Total plays are gonna be a little bit different. Now think of it this way, lifetime stays on the machine even through a code update. So for instance, I just bought this machine, I updated it to the newest code, and now I put some extra, uh, there's been some games that have been removed, obviously from that, but also it shows on the lifetime, no matter what, is 521 games. So when you're buying and trading a game, what you really wanna do is you want to, verify this number. Lifetime is the number you want to know. That's how many games are on, on the actual machine. Total plays really don't matter because in reality, they get erased when you do future code updates or they can be different based upon the balls that you play. So lifetime is what you want to know. So what is the difference? Lifetime showcases the total amount of games on the game. That is the number that you need to know when buying, selling, and trading. So anyway, I hope this, this pinball tip was helpful for you guys today, uh, especially if you're selling, buying, or trading. Uh, if you like our content, we again, we're a non-biased channel. We don't take advertising uh, from people that may change the way that we shoot our videos or, or change our reviews. So if you like that, that format, please like, please subscribe, please share. Uh, again, thank you for watching today. Till next time, this is your Arcade and Pinball Talk Guy, Nathan, signing off.